Hey, Ken here. I'm at a coffee shop right now uh, in the middle of some errands and I saw this cute dog. It reminded me of Pochita from Chainsaw Man. Everywhere I go, I always bring with me a small sketchbook. That way, if something inspires me, like right now, or an idea pops up, I can just quickly sketch it up. Oh yeah, and the coffee here is really good. Now, I'm off to the studio to work on the concept. Alright, let's get to work. Back then, I used to sketch everything on paper, scan it, and then trace it on Illustrator. But now I do everything digitally. That way, it's easier and faster. For my illustration process, I start out with the sketch layer. Some prefer to use blue lines, some red, but I like to use gray because it feels like it's drawn using a pencil. By the way, I'd like to thank Wacom for my drawing tablet. This is the Wacom Cintiq 16 HD. I love the size because it fits right in my backpack together with my laptop. I use this when I'm traveling, in a hotel room, in a cafe, everywhere. Thanks Wacom. And now it's line time. I like to start off with the pen tool. It's easy to create clean lines and objects. I can easily adjust and move curves according to the placement of the points. I've also been getting a lot of inquiries about the brushes that I use. And honestly, I just go for the default brushes and adjust it here and there. Sometimes, I also do custom brushes. If you want to know more, let me know in the comments below. I'll probably make another video about it. After the basic shapes, I then follow it up with tiny details using the pencil tool. The pencil tool is similar to the lasso tool in Photoshop where it's easy to maneuver like freehand drawing. You can also make sharp edges, custom some shades and shadows, create thick and thin lines according to how you want it. I know, I know, it's a lot to process but it takes getting used to. And all this talk about tools is really making me sleepy. So, coffee break. <sighs> now, let's get back to it. I make sure to separate my layers the sketch layer, the line layer, and for the next stage, I'm working on the color layer. When coloring, it really is important to know your basic shades, shadows, and highlight. My color layer always falls under the line layer. Coloring is a challenge, but it's also the most fun and playful part of this process. I love coloring. It makes me feel like I'm a kid again. This is my cat, Shikamaru. He likes to take over my seat. That's because I'm using the most comfortable gaming chair in the world. Shout out to Secret Lab. For this Naruto edition chair. While filming, Chika has been bugging me. I guess he wants the spotlight. So let's make something to keep him busy. And we're almost done. Just a few finishing touches, adding some background lighting for more drama, and a few sparkle here and there. And 
finally, I give you Chainsaw Carnage. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh, and Chica said don't forget to save your work.